Gary, a lot to dissect from this evening. Can you give us your initial reaction? Yeah, really disappointed with the result. I can't fault the players. I thought the game plan was working. I think the, the big disappointment is we get moments wrong at the moment and they're, they're costing us. I felt like first half we could have been 2-0 up and, and that would have been you know just because I thought we controlled the game without the ball at, at moments, caused them real problems on the counter-attack. Could, could have passed the ball better when we did have the ball but still created the best chances of the game and then conceded a really sloppy goal from our point of view just before half time which you know we didn't deserve in that first half for the, the way we set about trying to win the game. Second half I thought you know we, we controlled possession a bit better but the big moments in the game go against us and I think that costs us I, again for me it's not a 4-1 game we were very much in the game and probably like I said should have been more in front after that first half. The game did hinge on a huge three or four minutes in the second half with a penalty and then a red card for Will. What are your thoughts on both those incidents? I think if it's a penalty for Charlton, it's a penalty for Vinnie Harper first half. It's the exact same incident where somebody comes and there's a coming together in the box. So if he gives one, he has to give the other. I think the sending off is a joke. I think Will has taken a heavy touch and he's came in and, and towed the ball away. Uh, and Alfie May has, has bought one there, he's, he's dived, he's, he's made the most of it and the referee has, has fell into that trap and, and made a bit of red but I've seen it from so many different angles, for, for me it's never a red card. You suspect you've got quite strong grounds for an appeal on that one? Yeah, I think he's towed the ball, if, if you go into a tackle and tow the ball away then you know it wasn't even reckless, he didn't go through the player, the player just used his momentum and, and bought the foul and, and more than that he's, he's bought the red card for the, for the referee and, you know, at that point, 2-1 down, 10 men, then, then it's really difficult in the game. But, you know, up till that point, we were very much in the game. Up till the penalty, we were very much in the game. And like I said, it's consistency we're wanting. If theirs is a penalty, then Vinnie Harper's is a penalty first half. And uh, those big moments went against us tonight, and that cost us. Moments before that, of course, Jack Aitchin came on, scores 1-1. Clearly, Jack's coming on to, to try and change the game to win it for us. Yeah, we tried to obviously bring fresh legs on with Yannick. Uh, I thought Vinny Harper was outstanding first half, but we felt like Yannick could, could bring some pace on in the second half. Uh, we wanted to bring Jack and KT on to, to give us that attacking threat. We wanted to try and go and win the game. It was positive substitutions. We felt like the way we were playing, we could go and win the game. And then, you know, situations and big moments go against us, and it's, it's really frustrating and really disappointing. We spoke on you know, Thursday about a, a reaction and to the game, so I spoke about the rea a reaction from the Northampton defeat and the first half showed so much promise and it, and it looked like you'd got that reaction from the players that you'd asked them to give. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought we were extremely organised, we had a game plan, it set a little bit deeper, we frustrated them uh, and, and caused them all sorts of problems in the counter-attack. I felt like we could have played a little bit better in possession. We, we played too much down the right-hand side when our free player was down the le left-hand side. Uh, but so many times we switches a play, we got Demi and Vinny in and uh, they caused them problems. We scored an amazing goal where Jamesy dropped deep and then the, the space, we tried to suck the centre-halves out and play in the space in behind. So, you know, a lot of what we worked on was working. I think that we could have scored another goal. Jamesy had another couple of chances inside the scoring zone and then we give a really poor goal away just before half-time when at the very least coming in at 1-0 was what we deserved. We did notice actually that, that James was dropping back and then running onto those balls as the goal came and he seemed to be so effective in that role and when you've just come back from an injury that goal will do his confidence world a good. Yeah, he's been great for us, he's scored goals, he's shown you know, his ability, I still think his confidence is, is you know, coming, he's gaining confidence with every game in terms of his fitness and obviously scoring goals will help that. But I thought tonight, especially first half, for what we asked him to do, he, he carried that out really well and the goal was, was outstanding from, you know, from our point of view and what we were working on. I think we can still be better in position. I think there was moments where we played down the wrong side and we have to recognise that, but I can't fault the players' effort. I can't fault the way we went about trying to you know, win the game in that first half. Like I said, it's you know, big moments where we could have been 2-0 and end up going in 1-1 and that that hurts you and in those moments we, we have to be better at the moment, we have to you know, make sure that those moments go in our favour. It does feel like every time there's a positive 
something else counteracts that. So Jack Fitzwater uh, has been a part of that back three for a couple of games. If Will isn't available on Saturday, he'll easily drop in there. But it does feel like as soon as we get a player back from injury, we lose another one. Yeah, well, we'll have to look as a club at whether we appeal that. For me, like I said, I've seen it in so many angles and it's not a red card. Uh, so we'll, you know, I'll speak to the club and see if, if we should appeal that. Fitz has felt his calf a little bit, so he, he's a worry for, for Saturday. And, and you can see the players are, are given everything. And, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, we are, you know, physically at our limit. But I can't fault the players' effort tonight. I thought they were... They were really good and, and the big moments at the moment are going against us. We have to work hard to, to make sure we turn them in our favour on Saturday. Fans' reaction at the end, you'd be forgiven for thinking we'd perhaps won 4-1 by their, their reaction. They gave everything for their team tonight. Yeah, they're amazing. But I think they've seen a team on the pitch that gave everything for them. Uh, it wasn't you know, the lack of effort or, or belief in what we were doing on the pitch. It was you know, some decisions and some big moments that went against us. And, uh, we have to stick together as a group, we have to keep believing in what we're doing and uh, recover and I'm sure if we do we'll, we'll be ready for a big performance on, on Saturday at SJP.